Hi everyone, this is the promotion video of our paper Understanding and Counteracting Feature Level Bias in Click-Through Rate Prediction. CTR prediction is a crucial task in recommender systems that leverages user item features to rank candidate items for better personalization. However, CTR models are susceptible to feature level bias, which leads to over or under recommendation of different item groups based on a feature field. This bias can cause unfairness among item groups and negatively impact user experience. To systematically study the cause of feature level bias, we train two representative CTR models, FM and NFM, on a popular recommendation dataset ML1M. Thereafter, we conduct statistical analysis on the st dataset statistics, model parameters, intermediate and the final outputs to uncover their relationship to the feature level bias. Finally, we discover a bias generation path as follows. Bias the positive sample ratios to bias the linear weights in CTR model to bias the prediction scores to bias the recommendations. According to the above analysis, the key to counteracting the feature level bias lies in cu cutting off the path from the uneven distribution of positive sample ratio to the bias model predictions. Specifically, we can reduce the bias linear weights as follows, which applies very limited changes to the well-trained CTR model and largely preserve the preference estimation, since other model parameters also provide sufficient information. Additionally, in some scenarios where limited unbiased data is available, we can further set the target of post-training adjustment as approaching the expected linear weights as learning CTR models from the unbiased data. This process consists of two parts, removing the bias the positive sample ratios from linear weights and estimating the ideal ratios under the random exposure to make the linear weights unbiased. In experiments on normal bias tests, our linear weight reduction method remarkably reduces REO at 5 with little sacrifice of accuracy, showing its effectiveness in alleviating the feature level bias. On debiased tests, our linear weight construction algorithm achieves the best performance, validating the effectiveness of using estimated positive sample ratios to construct new linear weights. That's all. Thank you.